In the following tutorial, we're going to take a look at a couple different ways that you might be able to draw 3D boxes manually in Illustrator. Now, we're using Illustrator CS5, but you can do this in other versions. I'm going to make a new file, and I'm going to use the uh, web format, basically 1024 by 768. So if I went to web and then choose the 1024 by 768 size, that's basically what we're doing, which gives us kind of a nice, um, simple way to do it. Anyway, um, one of the things that we might need to see are layers here in a little bit, so I just want to be able to bring that out so that we can access it later. Let's begin by drawing the most important line, which is our horizon line, so I'll draw, draw it going across. Now I'm going to go off the side just a little bit. Actually, you know what, I'll go ahead and draw it right here on the screen. So it'll fit to what I'm actually able to see on the screen at once. Now, in order to draw the um, vanishing points, I tend to draw something that snaps to the location of the original line. And I, I usually put it a little bit away from where the original line is. That way, um, it'll make sure that it doesn't accidentally snap to that line. And uh, we're using, of course, the smart guides, and the smart guides allow us to see these intersection points as we're drawing it. So I'm going to click and drag down a little bit, click and drag up. So now I've got my anchor points, and they're pretty far away from the end of my line, so I can't, I won't um, automatically connect to them. Now, uh, these are guide layers, so it's not a bad idea to change the color if you want, just to make sure that they're guides and going to be seen that way and to go ahead and lock that layer, make a new layer, and then this is the layer that we can draw on. Now, we can start drawing um, using traditional drawing techniques. So we'll start off by drawing our first main line, which is going to be just a single line here. Now I can draw that line snapping to the end, draw another one line snapping to the end, and we'll do that on each side. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out our, our vertical line. So I'll snap that down, and I will snap that up. And you'll see it's actually connecting to the path. And to make sure that you have straight lines, hold down the Shift key. Now what we need to do is we need to cut some of these lines so that we can get our intersections back. So one way to do this is to make these lines go to the front. So I'm going to go to Arrange, Bring to Front, and now go to the to the pen tool and when you've selected the line with the uh, control key so it's selected then you can click on where it says intersect and you're actually creating a new point at that intersection now we can go to the white arrow and delete the points on the outside so that we're left with the correct points where they connect now you can join these with the original lines by selecting the two and doing control J I believe or you can use this right here, which is connect selected points. So as they're selected, you can also do join, right click and choose join. Now we'll do the same thing over here where we take both the lines and we bring them to the front. So arrange, bring to the front, then go to our pen tool and choose the intersection there. Select that line, do the intersection, go to our white arrow and remove the outside lines and then join that with control J and join that with control J hopefully so you'll see that we're getting pretty close there so here's where we've got this one line that we haven't joined yet so we may need to figure out how to join that sometimes it's not going to be the easiest to do so because you've got a lot of lines to deal with But hopefully after a while, you can get it to work. What you might want to do is take one of the lines and back it off a couple. And I, I just took it away with um, two shift um, left arrows. Now I can select these points, do the control J to join it. And hopefully this has made a solid shape that I could then fill. You'll see it has. Then I can take this line. And what I really need to do is connect that to that point over there. So we can go ahead and continue that point, hopefully, and then make it snap. Now take the white arrow to select that original point, two right clicks, Oop, and I'll need to do it with that one as well, or I, I can even delete that point because it's really not needed at this point. So now we've got another fillable shape.